Hey, what is up, guys? It's a out here. Welcome to our Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke series, episode 21. And in the last episode, we made our way to this city. I'm pretty sure it was called, like, Serenity City or something like that. And we were, like, waiting to go into this building, which I'm pretty sure is the power plant. Yes, it is the power plant. But why don't we do a really quick party update? So why don't we go through, we have Stubbs the Quilava, uh, Quilava, Stubbs the type Flosion. Why don't I get Quilava? But he's the lowest in our party, you know, except for Barney, but Barney's still getting up there. Level 45, the Flamethrower, Swift, Sunny Day, and Lava Surf. Buzzkill the Vespaquin, level 46, still as average as ever, with Slash, Gust, Toxic, and Secret Power. Gazio the Excadrill, level 46, with Earthquake, Rock Slide, Metal Claw, and Swords Dance. Wop Wop the Walrein, level 48, with Surf, Aurora Beam, Body Slam, and Hail. Russell the Sceptile level 48 with Leaf Blade, Giga Drain, Strength and Bullet Seat and Barney the Espeon level 41 with Psybeam, Beam, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind and Toxic. So why don't we go into the power plant, obviously there's going to be um, like some something we have to fix in here and probably, probably we're going to be using a lot of Gajul because hopefully we'll be able to take on the gym in today's episode because yes there are people here. Show the power plant strength and battle, so these guys don't seem evil, they're just scientists. Hound do you have, um, I was about to say, oh, oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, do you have, um, Flash Fire? But you know what, doesn't even really matter because you're going to die to a Metal Claw. <laughs> I know it's resisted, but who cares? Perugly. Perugly. Perugly is actually not a bad Pokemon. I mean, I don't really like it personally. I mean, I don't hate it, I don't like it. It's just kind of there for me. But, you know what, it's not a bad Pokemon. Are you going to battle? You are going to battle. Ooh, you have a Pikachu. You know what, you're also dead. Lava Surf. I'm pretty sure, is that the Flash animation? Oh no, let's use it in the next battle we can. Oop, there's an item here. Uh, what is it? It's TM25. Is that, what, like, Shockwave or something? It was Thunder! Um, no one can learn Thunder, so we don't even need to worry about it. But, let's continue on. Ooh, there's an Electivire there. I'm guessing that's the Gym Leader. Then we have a Bolt Toy. Let's switch out into... Buzzkill. Because, for one... You can't do much to us because we're levitating and we're bug type. And two, we can just go for a toxic if you want to set up. And go, oh, you, you have ancient powers actually. That's kind of bad. But you know what? Let's just keep. Oh, buddy! <laughs> I was not expecting you to explode. I was not expecting you to explode or even Y explode or Z explode. But you know what? Let's just take out these bold toys. I know that we have Wop Wop really over leveled right now, but it doesn't even matter because the next gym is going to be electric type. So we're not even going to be really using Wop Wop. But it's okay, but we're always trying to improve our technology. Congratulations. But I'm pretty sure there's one more battle. Proving these energy towers to increase our efficiency. Is that... I thought there were cracks in the floor. Okay. But it's ready at last. Now we can reconnect the turbines and the power will turn on. Finally, the power's back on. Now I'll return to my gym. Hey, you okay? I was just working to restore the power to the power plant. I'm Reyna, the gym leader of Serenity City. Now that the power's back on, I'll return to my gym. Mm-hmm. Money. I don't know why I gave him that posh voice, but it's like serenity, so it feels like it's like peaceful, but it also feels like they have power plants, so they're like making money. But let's go, and uh, you guys might be wondering why we did not do any grinding. Actually, there's a guy up here. To learn Pokemon Sing is just to be a good friend. Okay, can you move? There we go. I thought you were going to be like that one of those ladies that like stand at the front. But one thing we might do is we might check out the Pokemon, because... Do we have any flying types? We have Chatot, Megan. We have Megan, which is timid, which is always good. Um, that's not a bad thing to think about. We have Drift Loon, obviously. We have Golbat, Amy. But do we have a do we have a poison type on the team already? We do not. Hmm, but it's another happiness evolution, so I'd probably stay away from it. Drift Loon would probably be the replacement for um for Buzzkill. You know what? We might replace Buzzkill really soon, because I know we said we'd give it to level 50. But the thing is, Buzzkill's not really doing much. Like, not much at all. And it's kind of sad, because it's level 46, and the best move it has is Slash. And it's just like, uh, really? But, welcome to the Serenity City Gym. The leader, Rayner, uses electric Pokemon. He can't use ground attacks. It's kind of weird how, um, get, um, electric only has one weakness, which is ground. But you know what, Earthquakes, you light screen, you had one move, your whole life was at that one point, and you use light screen. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna have Intimidators with like Luxray, and Luxio, and oh no, that's gonna suck, but do you turn everything, oh, you do. I was about to say, because I don't think we'll be able to um, run through that. Um, so let's just keep battling these guys, I guess. There's Ampharos, 
Can you take an Earthquake? I feel like if any Electric type could, it would be you. But Psych Up? Uh, we've got Karmai, that's good enough. Zeb Striker, is that going to be one of the gym leaders? So, let, let's think about what they have. They have, um... They could have... Ampharos, um, they have an Electivire. They could have a Zeb Striker. They could have a Jolteon. Um, what else could they have? Um, oh, well, Luxray, we said. That's like five there. Uh, it's going to be five or six Pokemon in this. I don't know. Or could you have a normal Electabuzz? You could. I mean, I don't really know many Electric types. You could have Magneton. You could have Magneton, eh? Um, Carlos. I'm sorry, Carlos. But let's just keep doing that. This is not really that creative. I mean, it's just you battle this guy, you flip a switch, you battle the other guy, flip another switch. Shinx, really? Just go for Rock Slide, take him out. Hopefully, there are no Intimidators. Because if there are Intimidators, I'm going to be, like, really annoyed. I'm going to have to switch it out and come back in. Everything like that. But Flamethrower is going to take out a Perugly. It's going to take out a Perugly, definitely. And the switch is right over here. So, why don't we do the comment question today while we do all this stuff? And now that we're in a gym, let's just go through gyms and everything like that. And what is your least, most least favorite gym puzzle? Mine, personally, uh, it doesn't even need to be a puzzle. It could just be your least favorite gym. And it could be because of a puzzle, it could be something else. Personally, my least favorite gym has to be, um, has to be, I forget her name. But it's the steel type gym in second gen with Anfi and things like that. And whoops, sorry guys, something just popped up on my screen. Had to close that. But, um, because there's no trainers at all. All you do is just walk straight through it. And I guess that makes sense and it's good and everything like that. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Um, I guess we have to heal. Because we can't really afford to take another double kick. And go for a rock slide and that should take him out. Oh, it does not. Ooh. You know what I might do at the start of the gym? I might set up some swords dances. Because hopefully... Ooh, why does everyone have double kick? <laughs> and the sandstorm takes him out, which is always nice. Pachirisu. I'm pretty sure you don't have double kick. You have charge. That's a thing. Charge is a thing. Metal claw will take you out, though. Even though it's not very effective, you're a Pachirisu. Electabuzz. I'm pretty sure Stubbs will be able to take him out. It's a level 40 Electabuzz. See, the level jumps are so weird. We were doing so much grinding at one point. And then, look at Gaz, you're taking him out with the Sandstorm. We were doing so much grinding at one point. And then what happens is, we get so overleveled, and now all the gyms are like, just three levels above each other. So it's like, the last gym's ace was like 45. This would be, what, like, 50, I'm guessing. And I didn't want to do much grinding, because I'm pretty sure Gaja will be able to sweep with one Swords Dance. Never mind Intimidators, so he's just going to be able to sweep. So, do we have to flip switches again? We do have to flip switches again. That sucks. I wonder, like... I reckon it'd be cool if they had something like in Pokemon Sweet version, where you didn't need to, like, enter the... Like, once you enter the gym, you couldn't escape. And it's like, you'd have to bring healing items. Like, right there, I would have, like, had to use my, um... My Earthquakes, like, conservatively. But... Hmm, <laughs> welcome to Serenity City Gym. The gym is the city of light. The gym specializes in electricity. As the leader, I'll battle you. Now, I thought the Electivire was just going to come punch me in the face, and that was going to be the end of it. But, we have... I forgot your name. <laughs> Rain. I was, I was going to say Thomas, but that's the last gym. Okay, so it's Ampharos. You have Cotton Guard. Is that in this gen? I'm pretty sure it would be in this gen. I could be wrong. I could be right as well. Let's go for a Swords Dance, just to be a plus two. And if there are Intimidators... I don't think it will really matter, but level 46 Ampharos, light screen, that's perfectly fine. If you had, um, if you had Reflect, that would have sucked. That would have sucked bad. But you know what, it's okay, because Ampharos is just going to take a little bit of damage, and Earthquake's going to be able to take him out, because it is plus two, and I know Ampharoses are really fat and bulky, but it's plus two, and the light screen is not going to help you, mate. The light screen is not going to help you. And speaking of which, it's like a light screen. Like, let's say it was Reflect. It's just like a screen door. It's like, how is that going to stop you from an earthquake? But Zeb Striker, I'm pretty sure this guy will be able to outspeed and go for a double kick because the other ones were able to. But I could be wrong. I really like Zeb Striker's design. I feel like they could have done one more, like one more evolution with this Pokemon, like made Zeb Striker a little bit smaller and kept its design, and then made it like a more badass, like horse, donkey, zebra thing. I don't know what it is. Bit. I feel like it should be a middle evolution because the striker's design has a lot to offer But I feel like it's just mm, it's missing something or oh, could he get a mega? I don't know but Manectric pretty sure if the striker can outspeed Manectric's going to be able to outspeed. Do you have intimidate? No, you do not so you have either lightning rod or static 
I don't even know if you have Intimidate. I'm pretty sure- No, your Mega Evolution gets Intimidate. That's it. Otis Sleuth. Oh no! You wanna reckon it would be really broken? Manetric with, like, Intimidate, then you Mega Evolve and get another Intimidate off. That would just be extremely broken. No, I'd still probably use Lightning Rod, personally, because you could swap in on, like, Electric-type moves and things like that. Luxray, here comes the Intimidate. Intimidate is coming. Ready for this? Boom! There we go. Now we're at negative... No, we're at uh, plus one, because we did Source Dance, and that goes up by two. And Gargill is just sweeping this gym. I think Excadrill is really... Is a really good Pokemon. I didn't realize how good Excadrill is. I know it was in Ubers at one point and everything like that, but... One thing is, I, I know that, like, sweeping isn't the most fun thing to watch, but I try to share, like, the gym leader battles around, and there hasn't been a complaint on any of my series so far going, oh, all you do is sweep the gyms, oh, no one dies, blah, 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 things like that. But I'd want to say, like, I try not to. Like, in the last gym we had, I tried to alternate between, um, Wop Wop and, uh, Russell. And you know what? I feel like with... This gym, because ground's the only weakness to electric, I had to do it. But anyway, that was a very underwhelming gym. Um, Reyna, you really weren't doing too much, but you've proven yourself to have great power. Enough to learn the master, uh, to master electricity. Mm-hmm, yes, yes, mm-hmm. And congratulations, you've beaten me honorably. In doing so, you earned the energy badge. I actually like that name for a badge, the energy badge. That's pretty cool. But... With the energy badge, you can use HMO to fly outside of battle. To fly, use it from any city to have already visited. Have another gift. Team 24, that is Thunderbolt. It's definitely Thunderbolt. This team contains Thunderbolt, one of the best electric attacks as it combines power and accuracy. See, this guy, you might be posh and everything like that, but at least you do know what's up. Uh, does anyone learn it here? No. I'm pretty sure if we get Driftblim, Driftblim can get it. I might be wrong. But I could be right. And I probably wouldn't teach it that. I'd probably teach it like Thunder. But anyway. Now that we have the access to fly. And we can do that. I'm thinking of going and flying. To getting this nickname changed for Drift Glim. For the simple reason that. I think that there's time to get a, um, a change in team. Because for the simple. Actually. Not yet. Not yet. I don't know if I've already done it on the sidebar, but I feel like Buzzkill is just not lifting his weight. And I've been reading comments and everything like that. You guys do agree with me that Buzzkill is just not doing what Buzzkill needs to do. So, we gave it a chance. Vespaquin, I really do like your design. I really wanted to use Vespaquin. But, I guess we'll have to use Driftlim, which is good because we don't have a ghost type. And that would be good against fighting types, which is, and, because you're just the ultimate check to fighting types. Um, we could use Pajor, we could use Bacon, we could use Golbat, Amy, we could use Archin, but you're a normal type, and I really want to diverse the team up with typings. You are a rock type, I'm pretty sure. You're a rock type, we already have ground type, I don't really want to double up on those. And you were a poison type, but you were also a happiness evolution, and Chat Tot, I'm pretty sure you were a normal type, or just, yeah, you were normal flying. And, ooh, wait, we didn't even check out the Pokemon we caught in the last episode. So let's go Jolly Archon. We were, I remember checking this out. We have a Brave Levitate Preheat, the Bronzor. Uh, Confused Ray, Extra Sensory, Iron Defense, and Safeguard. Then we have Mohawk with the Blitzel, which has Lightning Rod, which is always good. We were just speaking about Lightning Rod and how good it is. But now that we have Drifloon, we're going to go and teach it Fly, obviously. I'm pretty sure it can learn Fly. It can't learn fly? Ooh. That's a thing. I'm gonna go on my phone real quick. And I'm gonna Drift Loon can learn fly, but Drift Blim can. So it's like, if Drift Loon can't, and Drift Loon can. So let's just go Drift Loon. Because if not, I might need to bring like bacon or something on. Or I could just have a fly slave and use Drift Loon. I might do that. I might do that. But anyway, can you please load Bulbapedia? I know people use Cerebi and things like that, but I've been using... I'm like a Bulbapedia fanboy. Bulbapedia. There we go. Let's check it out. You can learn... Can you learn fly? You can't learn fly. Hmm. Well, can um, Drift Blim... Can it learn fly? If it can, then we will definitely be putting Drift Bloom on the team. 
Let's go and check it out. Can you learn fly? You can not. I don't think. I don't see fly. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Fly is like right at the bottom of the list. Drifloom cannot, but Drifloom can. And if we're going by the, um, what we are doing in like uh, the newer gens, then that would be great. So why don't we just put Pidgey on the team for now? So, or directly on the team. Drift Loon is the actual one on the team. So let's go and speed up and let's teach it fly because I do know Pidgey can learn fly. There we go. Bacon wants to learn fly. Um, let's get rid of sand attack since no one really uses sand attack at all. And my phone was just going off. Sorry about that, guys. My friend was just texting me and I wanted to put it on silent. I don't know if you guys heard it, but why? Why can't I exit? Do I have to set back one? Okay. Okay, that was a bit weird. But let's fly. I'm pretty sure it was like Cyanport, something like that, that we could re nickname. Cyanport. That's it. Now, let's go and move Drifloom back. And I guess we'll just swap Russell for now. Um. I was about to say he's holding what, 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 holding a Pokemon. No, no shit. But is this the name Raider? It is the name Raider. So let's name Driftloom. Is it a guy or a girl? It is isn't genderless. So we're going to name this Lance after my mate, Lance the Trainer. He was a YouTuber. We haven't checked him out. He makes really good Pokemon videos. And he also has a second channel. So if you do want to check him out, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Hopefully if I can remember. If not, just bug me about it. But we're going to be naming this guy Lance. And we're going to be putting him on the team. So, why don't we go through and put, uh, no, Russell, you can, you can, you can stay off the team for a little bit longer, a little bit longer, just, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit, and let's fly back to where we were before, and you know what, I could nickname, oh, I can't do that, um, Serenity, that's where we're at, I could nickname the other Pokemon that don't have nicknames, I'm pretty sure we have other Pokemon that don't have nicknames, however, I just feel as if we'll do that later on, like I could do that off camera, things like that, because, is every, no, we have Arch in here, we have, um, Rayolu, and that's it, but I could have done that, but, ah well, we could do that another time, because technically we've been recording for about 15 minutes, maybe a bit more, and I want to get this episode going, so what I'm going to do actually is, let's put Barney at the front, and let's take the EXP share and give it to Lance. I might do some grinding, depending if, like... Wait, can you learn Thunderbolt? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I... Why are you holding it? Take. I'm about to give you the EXP share, and I kind of, like, mentally farted. But, what? Give. There we go. Now, let's give him the EXP share, and let's check if he can learn these moves. Uh, can you learn it? You can learn it. So, I might teach you... Thunder, I want to check your stats. I'm pretty sure you're more of a physical attacker, but your special attack is higher. And we're not really going to use Thunder since we have we don't have Rain Dance. So yeah, let, let's teach let's teach him Thunder. Why not? Let's teach him Thunder. And can you learn Flamethrower? You cannot learn Flamethrower. Uh, if we had Ice Beam, I wouldn't even give it to you because we have Wall Rain for that. I'm pretty sure someone mentioned we do get a chance to get another um, Ice Beam in one of the gyms. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but why don't we go, wait, that's Route 417, that is a new area, we can encounter a new Pokemon, um, and is there anything over this side, is this where we came in, Route 413, no it is not, so it is a new route, Benary, let's go for Cybeam, hopefully we can get Confusion soon, I really like Confusion, unless you only get it through, um, through TM, then that's a thing and we'll just have to find it, Gust, see, you're pretty much already, a better, um, what is it, what is it, what is it, better, better buzzkill, pretty much, Kecleon, let's stay in, and you're a normal type, so let's go for Toxic, you transform into, no you don't, I was about to say, we could transform you into Poison, and then go for Psybeam and take him out, but, oh, that's kind of scary, because now you have, wait, wait, eh, there we go, we played him, we played him like a fiddle, let's get in levels, which is always nice, pretty sure above at level 28, it said on, um, on Bulbapedia. I could be wrong, but we can get a Pokemon encounter here. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, yeah, I don't, I think, I don't really want to go this way, but we can encounter a Pokemon here. So what is our Pokemon going to be? It's going to be a Tentacool. See, that's, that's cool. I like that. No pun intended. Can you tank Shadow Ball? Oh wait, you probably won't. 
Unless you resist it. Uh, no. Okay, my bad. We just killed a tentacle. I underestimated how powerful Espeon was. But you know what we might do? Let's go to... Wait, can we encounter a Pokemon here? In Serenity. City. We can. I'm pretty sure anyway. Because if we can... Then, then, because the gift we didn't even get to give, blah, blah, we didn't even get a gift Pokemon. Can we like fish? Can we fish? Could you like why is it called? I know it's called like fishing, but the abbreviation fish. It's because like you're fishing for fish. But could you imagine if that like you name soccer like ball? Cause, oh, kick because you're kicking a, like a ball. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But let's go super rod. And oh, I we're floating on nothing. We are Jesus. We are Jesus. I don't think they expected us to do that. Um, let's go three more times and see if we can actually get something. Can we? Not even a nibble. Not even a nibble. Let's try two more times. And if not, then I don't think we'll be able to encounter anything in this waters. One more time and we'll see. I mean, it's just cool just to chill floating, floating in water. You know what? We'll do one more try and we'll try it right over here. Right over here. And I'm pretty sure that will make a good thumbnail as well, if I can remember. But, not even nibble. Okay, what is over here? Route 417 is a new route. What are we going to get? It is a mean foo. Now, I do know that you cannot take a um, any move like Psychic and things like that. But I'm also pretty sure that you have a really high evolution, like, level. Which kind of does suck. But, as well, you know what? You stayed in, which is nice. We're going to name you... um. There's not enough room for a broken arm. Uh, B R O K E. Yeah. No, there is. There is. There is. Because I, I usually name them broken arm because Mean Fu or Mean Xiao. Mean Xiao looks like he's got broken arms. There we go. And space. Broken arm. <laughs> My name's stupid. They're really stupid. But looks like I know he's got like the paws and like those things above him. But you know what? It looks like he's got a broken arm. So is this the right way to go? Um. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. I'm just so confused right now. We could have gotten a Kecleon, which honestly would suck. Because <laughs> Kecleon, I know it gets a uh, protein in the newer gens. But it's still a really bad Pokemon in my opinion. They really could have done something else with him. Because of his gimmicks and everything like that. But let's go over here. Wait, what do you say? Do you give us a rod? No, I'm pretty sure I already spoke to you. But is, do you say anything? Uh, I'm a Spelunker. If you want to go through Mount Ice Storm, bring a fire Pokemon. I don't know which way we have to go. I'm pretty sure the next gym is, um... I'm pretty sure the next gym is Ice. So it makes sense to have Ice... Oh my god, I am so confused right now. I don't know which way to go. Oh, Body Slam and Paralyze, that's great, but Synchronize did pop. So let's go for another side Beam. And we did take him out, which is nice. Lance getting a little focus energy, yes. Actually, no, no. Because I feel like we can end up doing more with, um, more with minimize. And we can set up some minimize and try to get some hacks going on. But, and the, um, sandstorm's gonna take him out, which is nice. Glam meow. Why, wait, why is there a sandstorm? Did I miss someone setting up sandstorm? Probably did. Probably did. But, you know what? This is the last time we're going like backwards forwards. We're gonna just keep adventuring to the right. And hopefully that isn't the correct way to go. If it is, and we find a new town, we'll fly back and we'll see. Like, and then we'll fly back and we'll just go to the left. But actually, I'm so torn. You know what? I'm gonna flip a flip a phone, my phone, whatever side it lands on. If it's screen side up, we're gonna go right. If it's screen side down, we're going to the left. It is screen side down. So we're going to the left. That is the last time I'm ever changing my mind. We are just going to keep advancing onwards to the left. I'm going to do a Beyonce. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Um, do you give us anything or do you battle? No, you do not battle. Um, is there, oh, I was about to say, there's got to be something here. I, I just rock right through that rock. Just walk right through it. Let's just oh, Actually, I should probably ease up on the speed up buttons outside battles. But Kadabra. Shadow Ball, boom. Dead. I know you guys have like paper thin defenses. But uh, Beautifly, uh, Shadow Ball. Ooh, um, I didn't expect you to take it because you're a Beautifly. But Strength, I'll be able to take you out. We really need a better move on um, Russell because we did get rid of, um, we did get rid of Cut. 
So let's go for Psybeam. That will be able to take out a Baneri. Easily. Easily. I'm happy we are finally able to use our Barney. For the simple reason that, you know, it's Barney. It's it's like the return. If you guys ever watched our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, you will know that we used a Barney. Oh wait, you're a Dark type. I just thought you were just pure poison. Oh well. Twisted Spoon. Um. Hey. There we go. That's like perfect. That's perfect. Oh, wait, you're a bug catcher, aren't you? You are. You have a Scyther. Um. Wait, aren't you like flying grass? I feel like you're flying grass, but let's just go into stubs anyway. He's got the agility going on. Flamethrower. Dead. There we go. And Lance is leveling up. He's not going to be up to scratch for a little bit, but you say the exact same thing as like others. It is Mount Ice Storm. So let's put Stubbs at the front. Because I feel like for one, he's lagging behind a little bit. And two, there's only going to be water types. They, I mean, ice types, they said. Only ice types. Let's go into Russell and go for a Leaf Blade. And just take him out. Oh, he does not get taken out. Oh, you have Aurora Beam. Oh, and Quick Attack. Oh, I got scared because I thought you got sped and went for another Aurora Beam. Um, are you going to have... No, you're a Cloister. Hmm. You have really bad special defense. So let's just go for a side beam and take him out. And Giraffe Rig. This is like the opposite of ice types. I know Cloist is like ice, but he's also water. And they're like, oh, I better have a fire type. It's like, no, not really. You might as well have a fighting type. Let's go and potion everyone up. This is why I bought um, some soup potions, just for like little ones. Hey, we just got it back. If you have a pillow swine, let it out. They like it here. If I could, I would, but I can't, so I shan't. Well, our first encounter is going to be a Jinx. Ooh, that's cool. I'm going to switch into Barney because you can tank any move the best because it's going to be Psychic. And let's go for a Toxic. And that way we can start throwing stuff and it can start getting whittled down. So let's go for... Um, hmm, let's go for some Great Balls. I don't want to waste Ultra Balls yet. Lovely kid. Oh, I was about to say you could be synchronized, but guess not. Guess not. If you were a, um, a Boy Scout, you'd be tying Guess Knots. What am I talking about? But let's start going for Ultra Balls now. Because I feel like you're about to die next turn. You are. Let's see. Come on, Jinx. I would love to have you. I would love it. Just join the team, Jinx. I'm going to name you a really good name. I don't know what I'll name you, but it's going to be perfect. You're going to enjoy it in the ball. Beautiful, Jinx. Gorgeous. We're going to name you... Um, I know like you can name it Nikki or like Nikki Minaj. Things like that, but let's name it. Um, hmm. Let's name you Kate. I don't know, very generic girl name, Kate. Let's put you there and let's go and full restore it up. And I feel like, let me just check, I feel like we're gonna end the episode off here, guys. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do all the good stuff. Really helps me out. Follow my Twitter if you haven't. Link will be in the description below. Don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. And yeah, don't leave much else to say. This has been a Rodiad. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.